to key the destiny of Samson. Mm. You are going to pray. Every destiny mm. killer. Delilah. Delilah. I the name of Jesus. Life. You will pray. Oh God, separate me from them. Oh God, separate me from them. Every destiny killer. I will carry your ministry as a minister of the day. I I want you to immerse yourself and pray. A prayerful believer is a powerful believer. Yes. Uh, as we enter next month from tomorrow, September, so this prayer will work in your life. You will see help in the left, help in the right, and you will see help on every angle of your life. Amen. This is a preparation to step into the mother of Umba, 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 more starting from tomorrow. That is why the Lord yeah. said we should deal with destiny helper so that they can it connect so. you as you enter the month of Umba, Umba months. And also, I want to encourage you that tonight, mark my word, mark my word, by next week, Thursday, you will share testimony because you will be connected from this week in the name of Jesus. Amen. Listen to me. There's mm. another thing now to figure out again. Jonah, in the boat in your life, that want to make your boat to go down. You are going to pray that every journal must be exposed. But listen, listen, listen to this before you pray that prayer. Let me tell you the story. Jonah rose up of Tito Tashi from the presence of the Lord and went down to Japa and he found a ship going to Tashi. So he paid the fee thereof and he went there, he went down into E to go with them unto Tashi from the presence of the Lord. But the Lord sent out a great wind into the sea, and there was a mighty tempest in the sea, so that the ship was likely to be broken, because Jonah was in the ship with those with those marina, and then that what happened? God sent a storm because of Jonah with those innocent people. Every Jonah that want to make you and your family and your ministry and your business to go down in life that are 
come into your life, you are going to pray, oh God, expose the children out of the life. I <laughs> we pray. Amen. Very soon, I will call on Pastor Matthew very soon now. I have about three more, uh, three to four minutes more before I run to our box. You are going to pray this prayer. The Bible says it disappoints the devices of the crafty that their hand cannot perform their enterprise. You are going to pray. Every power that is frustrating the vision of God in your life shall be frustrated. Shall be frustrated. Oh, As the Lord of frustrate every power. I will frustrate the vision of God in your life. As the power of God, the Holy Spirit. And the of the power. The hand of God in my life. Coming from the power. Every power is we pray Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 pray once again. It disappoints the device of the clergy, so their air cannot perform their enterprise. You are going to pray the prayer this way. Oh, Lord, frustrate powers, frustrate the words of my hand. Oh, Lord, frustrate, Lord, frustrate powers, frustrate the work of my hand. Why can't you call upon the Lord? That God will open every power that is frustrating the work of your hands. God will frustrate every power that is making my own God for you. God will frustrate every power that is making you trouble in your marriage, in your home, trouble in your business. God will frustrate every power that is fighting against your marital life, your marital status. The Lord will frustrate all those powers. Uh, 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 uh,
Finally, you are going to pray. The Bible says, and the Lord shall deliver you from every evil work. He shall preserve you into his everlasting kingdom. You will not backslide. Amen. To Egypt, you will not go to meet the Assyrians, you will not go to go to the Babylonia, you will not you will not fall away. You are going to pray that God will preserve your life, we preserve you, we preserve your ministry, we preserve your family, we preserve your life, and God will preserve you. Every evil works getting against your life, God will deliver you from every evil work. Every evil works will be managing. Every evil was coming from Jezebel. Every evil was coming from Delilah. Every evil was coming from Aaron. The Lord has delivered you from every evil work. 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 Every Jesus name we pray. Amen. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Pastor Omar Rewa, are you online with us? Yes, sir. Can you please help me run up this section, please? Our Father, we thank you very much. The Bible says the scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor the Lord giver between his feet until Shiloh come, and unto him shall the gathering of his people be. O thou that hearest prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. Without any shadow of doubt, our prayer tonight has been unto you and continually will be unto you. And Lord, we have prayed for destiny helpers. Lord, we know, as our pastor have revealed to all, the importance of having destiny helpers in life and what the life of any man can amount to without destiny helper. It will have been told tonight that even Jesus needed people around him to fulfill the assignment, the divine assignment given. Holy Father, I like pray that whatever in our life that is not of you, whatever only God that will help, that will make us to miss the one that you have assigned to accelerate and to facilitate and to enhance our life. Spirit of the living God, yank it off our lives tonight uh, in Jesus' name. Uh, 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 of the Holy Ghost. We burn every properties of Satan in our life. I ask oh God, as we cross into the new moment, we are not going with the control of the devil. We are not going with the properties of the enemy. We are not going with the properties of the Jebusites, the Amorites, and the Egyptians. We are going new into the ember months in Jesus' name. By the time we return next mm -hmm. week, there will be testimony according to the declaration of your servant. Then you mm -hmm. in your Jesus, so Jesus, mm -hmm. no power mm -hmm. on earth, no power anywhere. We hinder the declaration of your servant. We thank you because mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. mighty name we have prayed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Pastor. Pastor mm -hmm. Matthew, over to you, sir. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, we are in the period of open check now. Uh, I don't say somebody we have not called before, but if there's anybody, only we, we are going to grant only one person and then Pastor Mike Komarege, please uh, prepare. If there's anybody that have prayer requests, please we want you to 
uh, to say it to us now. So all the people online can pray for you. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God is going to honor his name in Jesus' name. Uh, and I want everyone to know, uh, my language is say what they are looking for in Sokoto State. It is in Sokoto. That's me, what you are looking for. Somewhere else is in the online. Everyone who we have been given, we have been given gift of uh, different uh, different gifts. Do not hesitate to use it in this period. And Almighty God is going to honor uh, His gift in our life in Jesus' name. So, if you have any prayer request, please, I want you to say it. We are going to honor only one person. Any prayer request for anybody? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. This German prayer, my niece is suffering for fibroid and she wants to go to hospital, no money. Hmm. I pray that God can provide the money for the operation in Jesus' name. Okay. Uh, Pastor Mark, over to you. And I want to remind our dad that said the prayer. Uh, we have been watching a lot of uh, testimony on GCK. If God can do that, God is going to do your own too in Jesus' name. Amen. And by the power of the Lord Jesus Christ, your prayer Amen. is going to be answered in Jesus' name. Over to you, Amen. Pastor Mike. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we want to thank you. We want to bless your name because you have given us a name that is above every other name, that are the mention of the name of Jesus. Every nail shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. Father, we know and we believe that your word is true. Oh Lord, we pray for this individual, Father, who wants to go to the hospital but doesn't have money. Father, we pray that there will be no need to even go to the hospital. Amen. I pray, Father, wherever Amen. this individual is now, by Amen. the authority, by the yes. power, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare you healed. In the name of Jesus, Amen. mighty God, Amen. I am praying and I am asking. The Bible oh, yes. says the Lord sent his word and his yes. word, he lets them. Oh God, I send the word of power. I send the word of healing to that body now. You body, you pain, whatever the challenge may be, hear the word of the Lord. I order you, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every problem in that body, come out in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, I am praying and I'm asking. The Bible says, Whosoever the Son of Man shall set free, he shall be free indeed. Oh God, my Father, I pray, Lord, whatever be the nature of the disease, whatever be the nature of the sickness, whatever be the nature of the problem, oh God, I pray, whether visible or invisible, hear the word of the Lord. I command you from the roots. You cannot remain in that body, that body, yes. that temple, that body, the temple yes. of the Lord. Yes. Anything yes. that defies the temple of God, in with God destroy. I command your foundation. I command your roots. I command your origin in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost to be rooted out in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray, Lord, that the blood of Jesus will do the work of healing. We do the work of miracle in that body now. By the stripe of the Lord, you are healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We Thank believe you. it is done. In oh, Jesus' yes. name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Not only Amen. that, we are grateful for our dad on financial support. That by the power and the blood, he says something about money. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, where there's no way God is going to open way for him in Jesus' name. Let's open our mouth. Let's open, let's call upon the name of Mighty the Lord. Father, we bring the name of Jesus. Let's open our way. You will supply for our daddy. Your you will provide baby. for him. You will bless him. In the name of Jesus. Holy Father, you are the one that brought money out of the mouth of the fish. You have not changed. Because Jesus, the same yesterday, today, and forever. 
Oh God, we have prayed. Oh God, Father, for oh God, our destiny. Lord, I pray. Oh God, before tomorrow morning, visit oh God our daddy. Visit him, oh God, with destiny help. Change his story forever. Oh God, I pray. Financially, God change his status. Change his story. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I want us to do something for him. Exactly. At his age, I don't know. I don't know the age but when you hear the force you will see that uh by the grace of the lord uh is aging then uh if care is not taken but it will not be his portion in jesus name then Amen. Amen. imagine that a child Amen. that is son that's a daughter that can see my dad what is this okay driver or whatsoever i'm coming to pick you tomorrow or whatsoever meet me in this hospital tomorrow what do you say about that? So we now bear the, the, the genes, the link of poverty in that family. How God is going to do it, I don't know. But I know God has been doing it. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, all the lineage of poverty in the life of our father, just because he, I asked for that prayer today, God will take it away in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Let's open our mouth. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Father. Oh, God, I pray. You are the one that changes times and seasons. Oh, Lord, I pray. Change, oh, God, Father, the situation of our brother, the situation of our father, in the name of Jesus. Who changes? 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 Who God, I pray. Provide. Supply. In the name of Jesus. Who God, I pray. Provide for him. Supply his needs. In the name of Jesus. Who God, lift him up by your power. In the name of Jesus. I don't know the Lord. I just strength of the Lord. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. God, I pray, supply, 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 supply. Bible says, and my God, supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Oh God, I pray, all the needs of our brother, all the needs of our father. Who God supply, who supply, who God 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 supply, in the mighty name of Jesus. Who God change the story. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, please, uh, I want to ask the uh, the brother. I uh, put the request. Uh, how much is the money, please? It, it, it's it's going to be one fifty in US. Ah, one fifty dollars. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, the one is it is it for drugs or for what? For operation. Operation is okay. Now I want to say something for a random. We are uh, 17 in the platform now. Please, God know our hearts. And God know our pockets. And God know our accounts. So I don't want us to be, be like the Pharisees that we are able to help somebody in need now, now, now. And we are praying. Why we have the money in the account. We have the money in our back account. We have the money in our pocket. We have the money in our purse. And we are praying. Except we don't have the money. But if we have the money with us and the money is in our account, maybe $10, $20, $30, whatever, I want us to send the money to Pastor Matthew. 
please. And then, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm saying this, I'm saying this Amen. by the needing of the, the Holy Spirit. You yes, don't Jesus. know, you don't know, you don't know how God works. That's your money that is in the bank account. Somebody is in need, we have the money in our pocket and we are praying. We have the money in our purse, we are praying. And the money is there. We are still praying that God will come and send help down. Please, if the mo you have the money, and God know the money is there, except you don't have. But if you have the money, please, let's uh, demonstrate the character of a child of God. And let's see, Pastor Matthew, for the case of our brother, that for the request he asked for the operation, I, I want to give $10. $15, $20, and thereabouts. God understand. And I believe as you do this, I want to assure you, mark my word, mark my word. As you do this, the Lord Almighty will surprise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our Father, we know, that there, we know that there are principles of answering prayers. There are laws that of answering prayers. And that is why we are called children of God. Because we are obedient to your commandments that make us to be children of God. Not like the Pharisees who pray, who pray, who pray, and their brother are in need. And the good Samaritan, like the good Samaritan, who fell by the wayside. The Pharisee came, they saw the man be wounded, they passed their way. The Levi came, they saw him be wounded, they passed their way. A good Samaritan, who was not a Jew, a good Samaritan came. He saw the man that was wounded dying. He take care of that man. And Jesus recommend, recommended that good Samaritan, that the work of the religious people, who just carry Bible, who go to temple, who pray, and they refuse to help the man that, that is wounded, dying right on the roadside. And Jesus said, go and do likewise. Lord, by the needing of your spirit, I have charged the people online right now. And I've told them, those that have the money, they can see this particular need. I pray as they obey this instruction. In the name of Jesus, I pray you will provide for them and supply all their needs in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That brother, that fear is coming to your hearts right now. That spirit of fear in the heart of that brother, I take authority over that fear by the authority of the Lord. I bind the spirit of fear. I cast it out of your life right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And the power to obey the voice of God, I pray. May that spirit fall upon your life in Jesus' name. Amen. And also, we are praying for destiny helper and destiny killer. Father, we are praying, we are asking in this platform, raise up destiny helper. Amen. That we all this our prayer online in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Any power, mm. any force, any spirit that want to key this conference prayer online, we command those power to be crushed out in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I speak mm. grace into your life. I speak forgiveness into your life. Amen. I speak authority into your life. Amen. I speak power Amen. into your life. And Amen. I speak Amen. Amen. in the name of Jesus. He shall be well mm. with you. Amen. 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 Father, in Jesus' Thank name, you, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Um, the joy the Lord will be our strength in Jesus' name. Amen. I just, Amen. just Amen. don't want to drag uh, Benjamin into the into the case. Since you have said that you contribute that money to Brother Benjamin, but let us leave it like that. I deserve him for another thing next time. So let's share the grace together. And then let us believe in the in the word of prayer. Let us believe if that money come out, we will give it to you. If, if you are not going to use it for that sickness whatsoever. But let's believe on the prayer. Let's believe on what our pastor said to 
the joy that Lord will be your strength in Jesus' name. Uh, let's share this grace together. By the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. So, we submit on Saturday for the grace of God. Let's continue to invite other people. Please, I want somebody on the platform that can be repeating for me that uh, submit your prayer request just once in a day. If anybody can be doing it for me, take it as a ministry. God so we reward you abundantly in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you. Why do you want to buy groceries? It's not because you know you're coming to Lagos. Why do you want to buy groceries? So you knew things. And you were going to come to Lagos. Expectant. Amen. 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 Tonight, we are praying on a very important uh, topic. And that topic, which is the basement for today's prayer, is, if you have it, let's echo it together. Please. You say what? You shall not be barren. We shall not be barren in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And our topic today is, I shall not die, but live. In the book die. of Psalm 118, verse 17, it says, I shall not die, but live and declare mm -hmm. the works of the Lord. And that's what we have come to do today, to declare to decree God. and God will answer our plea in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want us to begin to bless the name of the Lord because God is faithful. Before now, the enemy will have eliminated us, but God is faithful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God is great. He, he did, did not grant the petition of our enemy. Shall we open our mouth and begin to bless the name of the Lord? You appreciate him? Bless the name of the Lord. Over your children, bless the name of the Lord. Your family, your relative, open your mouth. Let me hear you blessing the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, we answer our prayer today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I shall not die, but live. I want to tell you that the choice to live and to die is in the hand of God. And what keeps us alive is the fact that God is not done with us yet. You know, I just look at life sometimes and I say, uh -uh. why is it that some people die early? And why is it that some people die at a very old age? And now a lot of analysis begin to flow through my head. And I said, number one, some people die because they have finished their ministry on earth. Some people die because they have gotten to a point where they cannot come back again. Look at it. For the Spirit maketh intercession for us. 
And each time Jesus before God keeps saying, keep interceding for us, keep pleading, it will change. It will change. Once a person has got to a point whereby to trace his, his step back to God and now start the ministry that God has given unto him, if he's too far from a starting point, that person will go. Now, if your starting point, if you are making progress in your starting point, but not serious progress, the Spirit is making intercession for us, reason why you should live longer. When you begin to function where God wants you to function, He gives you guarantee of more long life. And another, another analysis to this is that, like I said, the enemy, all they wanted is that we are dead. Seeing you alive is not what gives them joy because they feel that they cannot do what they are supposed to do once you are there. And so the best thing is how to eliminate to kill is nothing to the enemy. To kill is nothing to witches. And that's why you now see people that are incarnated by power of demon now. So to just carry knife and just shoot somebody. You know, I was reading the news yesterday, a 20-year-old boy uh, killed his father, wanted to use his father for money rituals. And so he took uh, some uh, vital part of his father, wanting to go for rituals. So to kill is just nothing. All they want is to terminate life. You are going to pray tonight. You are going to cry unto the Lord. Yes. Younger people are dying. A day old dies. Old age dies. You will tell the Lord, I will not die. Hezekiah oh, prayed and said, Lord, it is not yet my time to die. Okay, now you will. Spend his life. I want you to open your mouth and tell the Lord, say, Lord, I will not die, but I will live. Open your mouth and begin to pray. This time around, I want to hear your voice in prayer. I will not die. I must not die. I will live. Somebody open your mouth and begin to pray. If you are praying, let me hear you pray. I will not die. I will live. I will not die, but I will live. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. We were having some uh, section of prayers earlier this week. And um, while we were praying, and the demon began to manifest, that demon said, he said, see, I am the oldest of my counterpart. And in our spirit world, they are already tormenting me to come and do a renewal. And if I do not uh, quickly do what they are asking me to do, I will die. She said, but I have found somebody, a young damsel. He said, that one has a star. He said, and that star is that star I want to use. He said, that is why I am looking for the glory of that person. Say somebody just finished using it. And through your prayer, you have collected it from that person. And so it's my turn to use it now so that I will not die. I want you to pray today and tell the Lord, for everyone that is looking for my star, for everyone that wants to kill me why I am alive, Holy Spirit, let the grand open now and begin to swallow them up. Somebody open your mouth and pray. 
I thought I will hear people praying. There are many glory that have been traded away because of lack of our prayer of our of our prayers. Prayerlessness have made a lot of people a victim. But we do not know how to pray. Oh, the spirit make an intercession for us. No enemy will use my life for promotion. No enemy will use my glory for survival. They will not exchange my life with your life. Why should you die before your time? Somebody open your mouth and pray. It's a time of prayer. It's a time of seriousness. I want to challenge you, brothers and sisters, to pray, please. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. You know, he said, you think it's just easy like that. You call your glory. You say, my glory come, my glory come. She said, you think it's just easy like that to, to just get the glory? He said, I hope you know that there are different kinds of glory. He said, some, some people have used their own. He said, some people, their glory is very small. He said, this one I'm talking about is the one that has light. And that light is shining. He said, you just see that? He said, I want my glory. Is he, 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 he said, is he a prayer of one hour that will bring back your glory? Or you think it's a prayer of two hours that will bring back your glory? And do you know that many of us, you will see people, they will pray under 30 minutes, they are tired of prayer. Some people will pray under one hour. Uh -uh, I have prayed today now, and God is not a wicked God. He said, is this how you think you will get back your glory? I don't know how much left you have. But I know that God is giving us long life on this platform. Mm -hmm. But I want you to pray and tell the Lord. Say, Lord, wherever my glory is now, let it locate me alive. Open your mouth and pray. <laughs> Let it locate me alive. You know, sometimes it shows how we pray in our closets. When you pray and God cannot even hear what you are saying, you are giving God another assignment. You say, come and listen to me. Listen to my heart and hear what I am saying. You cannot even pray that God will hear. If this is the same way that blind Bartimaeus was praying those days, Bartimaeus will have died being a blind man. Because this kind of small, small prayer cannot stop the movement of Jesus. This kind of prayer we pray cannot even create awareness in the heavenly. But tonight, your glory is important. If God did not want you to use that glory, he will not attach it to your life. God has given you that glory. The enemy is, is debarring you of making use of that glory. God must arise and fight for you. The Holy Spirit must arise and fight for you. Please open your mouth and pray. Tell the Lord, every decision taken against my life by witchcraft spirit, let that decision be destroyed now. Every decision that is taken against my life, they don't have the power to create you. They don't have power to bring to life. All they know how to do is to destroy. The thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. 
It should be more. We keep, we keep which comes. It's not which comes. Holy Spirit, nullify it. Nullify every decision taken against my life. By witchcraft, by demons, power of darkness. Open your mouth and pray. I want you to withdraw anything that is representing you from the evil altar. Is it an idol? What is representing you on the altar? Is it your clutch? Is it your property? What is that thing that is representing you on the altar? And they carry that thing, the joya shook that baby. So once they shook that baby, in real life, the person will begin to have, uh, uh, you know, the doctor will diagnose. They will say, ah, he has kidney stone. The doctor will say he has appendicitis. The doctor will say he has renal problem. Once it is done on the altar there, whatever is representing me on the altar, I command you to cash fire now. In the name of Jesus, I set you on fire now. Yes. That is the prayer that can stop the movement of Jesus. It is not the one you pray like you are reading memory verse. Or the one you are praying like I am in a hurry now. That one does not hold water. I want you to break and lose yourself from every evil spiritual agreement. Every spiritual agreement of death. Break out, lose yourself. Break out, lose, your, lose yourself. I refuse to die. I will not die. I must not die. Open your mouth and breathe. I cannot die. Why are they carrying the report of death? I will not die. I cannot die. That is not the plan of God for your life. God has not decided that you will die. So why should you die? I will not die. Fire. And once you begin to see that sickness, and then you are looking at the eyes, it's like they want to come and kill me. Fire. They are refused to die. Whatever is speaking against me on the evil altar, I command thunder to destroy that altar now. I refuse to die. I will not die. Somebody is praying tonight. Pray against every evil stronghold of death. Every evil stronghold of death. Whatever stronghold that is speaking death, that stronghold, I destroy it. I, de I, de I destroy it. I demolish it. In the name of Jesus, I dismember every stronghold of death of my life. In the name of Jesus, they call the stronghold of death. Let that stronghold collapse now before you. As they can collapse before the ark of the Lord, let that stronghold of death collapse before you now. And then you are encompassed by different kinds of sickness, and they say this is how it affected them in time of old. Can't do it tonight. Can't do it tonight. Say, Lord, arise and free me from every grief of death. Why should you die? Why? Why should they come to this platform and announce anybody's death? I refuse to die. I will not die. I refuse to enter into any coffee that is con consulted for my sake. No, 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 no. 
I I shall not die, I will live. I shall not die, I will live. Come out from every grip of death. I refuse to enter into any evil coffin. No coffin. No coffin. No coffin. Is somebody praying tonight? I cancel my name. I cancel the name of my family. I cancel my ministry from the dead register. I remove my name from there. No, my name cannot appear on any dead register. My ministry will not die. My family will not die. I will not die. Is somebody praying tonight? I'm telling you I will not die. I'm telling you I will not die. It is the prayer of faith that heals the sick. The prayer of faith heals the sick. Every spirit of death over in your life surrounding you and compassing you, I command you to scatter by thunder. I command you to scatter by thunder. Scatter, scatter, scatter now in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of man's attacking me in the night. Oh, yeah, I expose you now. Let's put it on mass, put it be exposed. Expose and die. Be exposed and die. In the name of Jesus. To repeat to our people, we say, I have dream. Animal attacking me in the dream. This one bites me. This one is pursuing me. The fire of God will consume every agent of death that is sent to you to attack you. I will not die. I will not die. I will not die. Let the platform of the Hebrew man be destroyed by fire. Let it be destroyed by fire. Every power oppressing my life. Every power oppressing me in the dream. Oh, you yeah, go and die. Go and die. Bible says it is a righteous sin unto God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble me. Every power that trouble me in the dream. Trouble me in the twilight. I command you to fall down and die. I need you to pray. I want you to pray tonight. Is somebody praying? My children will not die. My church will not die. I will not die. The spirit of death is the spirit of affliction. It afflicts his victim till he kills them. Lord, I've given me power to tread upon you. Every satanic God, every bed that is sent to me, satanic bed, I command you to catch fire. It be destroyed by fire. In the name of Jesus, I declare tonight, I will not die. I declare tonight, I will live. I 
I will not. I will lead to the club. What so good that way? Pray against every arrow of slow death. When that you enter the person's body, it will start with small sickness. Small sickness. Every arrow of slow death that is issue against me and my family, I command you to backfire now. I command you to return back to where you are coming from. I refuse to sleep the sleep of death. I will not die. I will not run the race of death. I will not fall onto death trap. In the name of Jesus, we are praying against death. We are praying against death. We don't want to hear anything dead in our family. Except for the bad ones. That God has appointed to die. Pray against that destiny that have been buried to come alive. Oh, you have come alive. They thought they have won. They thought an end has come. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. They will not prosper. Reject every sickness that is unto death. No, the sickness will just start. They say they need operation. I reject every sickness unto death. I will not die. Every power that is planning to poison me, either through the dream or in the daytime, in the name of Jesus, I destroy that plan. I destroy that plan. Every terminal sickness that is projected to kill me before time, I command you to die by fire. They say it's a terminal sickness. It's always sick once in a year. Once the sickness comes like that, it's on to death, I will not die. Somebody say, I will not die. Open your mouth and pray that prayer tonight. God did not create you to come and die on timely death, you will not die. Pray against every ancestral covenant. Every ancestral covenant of untimely death against my life. I break that covenant. I destroy that covenant. In the name of Jesus. I count to every rumor of death, every power ringing bell of death, announcing death. I command them now to go and die that day. Go and die the death in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of untimely death that is made to be pursuing me. The thunder of God will kill you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, that the left of the God. And somebody pray. Oh, no. And somebody pray tonight. Every garment of sudden death in my body. It's not there yesterday, but it's manifesting today. Every garment of sudden death, I command you to burn by fire. Let that garment burn by fire. I command that garment to be roasted by fire. Every eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood are signed against my life. Receive the judgment of death now. Eaters of flesh, drinkers of blood, take the judgment of death. Go and Die in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray. Any power in your family that is assigned to cut short your life, 
Oh, Lord. oh, yeah, go and die in my place. I command you to go and die in my place. Power in the family. I want to cut up my life. Go and die in my place. In the name of Jesus. Ask for the blood of Jesus to redeem you from the power of death. The blood of Jesus over my life. Blood of Jesus over my family. Blood of Jesus over my head. Lord of Jesus over my business, Lord of Jesus over my ministry, I can only hear one person praying. The time for prayer is a time of intercession. You are talking to Jesus. You are reporting yourself to Jesus, Lord of Jesus, deliver my soul. Some people will tell you that I saw some my relative. I saw my relative pursuing me in the dream. I saw my relative. They want to kill me. You are going to pray. Every power using the dream of my relative or my late relative to swallow my virtue. In the name of Jesus, we are catch fire now. <laughs> Open your mouth and tell the Lord. Any part of my body that is deposited in the graveyard, I command you to catch fire. I command you to be on fire. Let fire begin to burn. Let fire begin to burn. Let fire begin to burn. Fire begin to burn. In the name of Jesus. Any strange growth, evil growth, in any part of your body, any strange growth, evil growth, any part of your body, begin to dry now. Begin to dry now. Begin to disappear now. Begin to go now. In the name of Jesus. Somebody is praying. Pray this household witchcraft. In a what, what do you think they are there for? They are there to terminate life. They are there to drink blood. They are there to cause misfortune. They are there to cause delays. Holy Ghost, flush every household witchcraft, flush them out of my life. Oh Lord. I want you to protect me. Cover me that the enemy, the wicked one, will not sting me. Let your hand of protection be upon me that the wicked one will not see me. They will not see me. They will not see me. Oh Lord, have mercy on me and deliver my soul from death. Have mercy, this very hour, Lord. Have mercy, this very hour, Lord. You are free, free, free. You are tired. You are frustrated. You are disturbed. You are working in the spirit. Lord, have mercy on me. For those that are assigned to just die suddenly, I remove my name from them. I remove my name from them. I am not part of them. Every calendar of death, I set it on fire. Every calendar of death, I set it on fire. In the name of Jesus. So people will tell you, my, my mother died at the age of 60. The mother of my mother, my grandmother died at the age of 60. You better destroy every pattern of death. Every pattern of death in your family, I destroy. In the name of Jesus, I destroy. In the name of Jesus, I destroy. In the name of Jesus, I destroy. 
All my properties in the hands of the enemy, I repossess them. I collect them back in the name of Jesus. Any mistake that will cost me untimely death, I cancel it. Any mistake that we cause on time needed, I cancel it. And I never Jesus. That is mistake that we need to do to me that because in the era of the day of our cancer, we must show that our cancer that will tell you our cancer. What is it that is tormenting your destiny? What is tormenting your progress? Tormenting your happiness. Let them fall down before you now. You know, you will just begin to hear in your house. You will hear some bed crying and crying and crying. They are crying, calling for life. They are crying to come and kill. You will tell the Lord every satanic bear that is crying out for any untimely death. Begin to fall down and die. Don't fall down from that position and die now. Fall down, break a leg, break a leg, break a leg, in the name of Jesus. Every plantation of untimely death in my life, I root you up. Bible says, and whatever my father has not planted, that be rooted out. Root, root the seed of death, root it out. Plantation of death, root it out. In the name of Jesus, root it out. Command the blood of Jesus to separate my family from the arrow of death. I want to be separated. I want to come out in the name of Jesus. I want to come out. I break every cause of death in my family. I break it. I break it. I break it. Death that swallow people in my family. I block them out. I roast my fire. In the name of Jesus. Hold your family. Wash your family. Wash the, 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 your foundation. Wash them from spirit of untimely death. No spirit any longer. No premature death. The death of the young ones not allowed. Death of both one not allowed. Or so you can fulfill your time in life. Every power bringing, confusion bringing, frustration, just die now. In the name of Jesus. Find every strong man of death that is working against your progress. Find them. Find them. Where you they say where you think 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 think, think and you are old. Where you think 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 and you are frustrated. You will contemplate on, on killing you yourself. Asking yourself, what am I still doing alive? Break it. Cancel it. Destroy it. Every tree of death, I command you to catch fire. Every tree of death, I command you to catch fire. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray for yourself. That thing that is lacking in your life that is bringing frustration, that thing that is lacking in your life that is making you unhappy, that thing that is lacking in your life that is bringing setback to you, I want you to pray now by the mercy of God, let there be restoration. 
Every promise of God concerning your life, let it be fulfilled. Bring to fulfillment the promise of God for your life. You cannot die like this. You cannot end your life in this fashion. The Holy Spirit make intercession for you. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Don't tell me only one person God wants to answer his prayer on this platform today. You are here. Once you have shown yourself here, then be ready to pray. You have tried by me here online. That's good. But not just to come online, but to pray. That is the fulfillment of the promise. He can make you happy. He can release you from oppression. He can set you free. He can break that law or that pattern that works evil in your family. He can lift your head up. He can bless you this very year. He can change your status. Your name can be announced. Is somebody praying now? In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, we bless and we worship you because you are a great God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for the end of your preservation. Thank, Thank you, you Father, because you say, I know the thought I have towards you. They are the thought of peace and not of evil to bring us an expected end. Oh, yes. Thank you, because you say a thousand will fall on our side and ten thousand on our side, they will not come near us. Oh, yes. We are hearing evil things happening mm -hmm. here and there, but they are not coming to us. Lord, oh, we yeah, give you the praise. Yeah. Yeah. Thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Lord, we have come to pray. And we have prayed. We have tabled our request before you. Lord, we do not care about those people that carry rumor of death or beat the drum of death or announcing death here and there. We don't care about them. Your final say is what we care about. Lord, we pray, no one will be missing among us. Amen. No one Amen. will die among us. In Amen. the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Whatever is causing sickness of death, you know that sickness will just come like it's just a small headache. From small headache to another one. From another one to another one. In short, you will just hear the person is dead. It will not happen to us. Amen. Amen. From Jesus, it will not happen to our children. In the name of Jesus, it will not happen to our wife. In the name of Jesus, it will not happen to our husband. In the name of Jesus, it will happen to our enemy. Amen. For those that are digging the grave for you, they will enter that grave. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I declare healing now. Amen. We thank you, blessed Savior, because we know you have answered our prayers. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our attendance is very is low, uh, as we can see. Our Saturday attendance is always surpassed the Thursday, but today is different. I don't know why. Then people like Pastor Ali, maybe he's very busy, maybe he's in the meeting, doesn't promote himself. And then we couldn't see Pastor Shegun, uh, Pastor Peter, and then Pastor Omarigi. I don't know what can cause that. Uh, God will continue to help us in Jesus' name. 
I say mm -hmm. I'm repeating it. I want somebody that will be helping me to repeat it on prayer platform. That please submit your prayer request every day, every day. You can take it as a ministry. And I know as people are praying for them, Almighty God, you are doing it for God. Almighty God is going to reward you abundantly in Jesus' name. I've been yeah. trying it, but many times I don't repeat it. Uh, I forget. I don't know why. But if I, maybe I can see somebody that we take it as a family every day on platform. Submit your prayer request. Submit your. Almost every day we see people joining us. And God will continue to help us in Jesus' name. We are mm. in the open check. Uh, is anybody having prayer request? You couldn't see Pastor Mary gave, uh Pastor Ali. I don't know why he moved himself. So is anybody Pastor having Mary, prayer request? Pastor Mike has, uh, uh, we have uh, Hello, a new program Mike. at the headquarters. Hello, praise so the Lord. that's why Pastor Hallelujah. Mike is not here. Yeah, okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, please, uh, I went first to Andrew. I am in the road. We have a gem meeting at Bagada, and I'm just from Vietnam, still on, on the road. It was with the gem meeting, but I connected, so I removed myself. Now, okay, please let's pray for some of our members that have stopped joining our prayer platform. That's why, that's why the publicity is on. But okay, and some of us send a reminder to them for the publicity about the prayer yeah. on Saturday, prayer on Thursday, and likely on Monday. Let's pray that God will release them, whatever the devil is used to hinder people not to be connected to online prayer meeting. Do we understand? And also, please, our pastors, as I normally say, that we are the pillar in the house. Let's encourage ourselves. Let's always try to uh, connect in our prayer pastors' prayer meeting, except we, are, except we are busy or we have official assignment. But I want us to pray that God will increase us spiritually and also God will take all entrances and obstacles away that are hindering people not to be connected. The devil is very wise. Knowing that when people pray, solution will show up. But he brought a lot of entrances to them not to connect. So let's see that. Let's pray that whatever Satan is using to hinder the people not to be connected, the Lord will take it out of the way. Thank you. I am in the room, so I will see you in yeah. with my self again. I swear. Thank you so much. God bless you, sir. And then uh, I'm hearing one of the first of our sister. I don't know if she, uh, it's not sister. Okay, sister. Okay. That's okay. Um, I don't know how all of us only look at our prayer meeting. Uh, anytime we are going to have prayer, I wish you come and see my mind. I always feel happy. I'm telling you, I wish you see me around five o'clock today, because I I walk in the night. Then from the walk I come here to join us. Uh, sometimes you can see me. Those people who uh, when we are praying, the midnight you see some time I've gone, not because of any other thing. I walk night five days straight, and then immediately I'm coming on Saturday, Sunday I go to the pulpit, especially Sunday, I go to the pulpit straight, no rest. And then I think to the Monday Bible study, I don't rest, no rest, until 12 o'clock on Monday. Immediately we started on Saturday, on the 12 o'clock on Monday. Sometimes I hardly sleep for three hours in a day. I'm, t I'm not lying. I'm serious. Three hours in a day. Uh, but many of us that you know we are in United States, you know how we work. You must have been hearing how we work in United States. So God will continue to help us in Jesus' name. But what mm -hmm. I want to bring out, anytime we are coming for prayer meeting and then I only feel happy uh, or extraordinarily, I won't deceive you. I only see happy extraordinarily. And so I don't know how we are taking this prayer. And it is my belief that we are going to be taking it serious in Jesus' name. Uh, it's a, one of the areas where I have assurance that God always answer me. Uh, uh, either I pray because I always busy sending messages to the people or not. I'm just using it to encourage us. And there's nothing, nothing, nothing God has not done for me. I'm telling you, uh, yesterday God was telling me about certain things that every one of you are so concerned. Everyone was so concerned. That just be patient among the throne. You, this is a very clear message. Be patient. I'm on, the, I'm, on, I'm on the throne. I, I know your patience is running out, but just be patient. 
I'm on the throne. So even when we are doing a lot of things like this, and God is answering us, I want you to know for many of us that we are uh, we are saying, let us do it. We know what God is doing through it. And I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God is going to continue to answer our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So do not let us uh, re- re- uh, relax. Take it as, a, as if... Uh, I want to use one example. And please bear me if I, I'm too... Uh, I'm too disrespectful of not or not or not the way I want to say it. When the RG is, why shouldn't you wake up your wife? GS said, if Obama, Obama called my wife in America, and then I'm happy that he, that was you know it was only the Obama, and I'm happy that Obama called him. Why don't you go call my wife, and then he he he, he asks a purpose. For calling her, why should I be bothering about it's not working up? So what I want to say, if the God is calling us, why are we not happy and surrender ourselves? I don't know how I want to re- relate that thing to our prayer. That if God is calling us, that we should come and pray, we should come together. Why are we not going to? I, 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 some of my member in the church. Because of the member we have in the United States, some uh, some people who have been in deeper life for so long, they don't like to be coming. And then because, you know, we are teaching them from, from how to open Bible. Many of them have not, they don't know page one in the Bible, talkers of page two. So we are the one that teach them that this is what Bible is. That's how you open the Bible. This is why, this way, this way, this way. Yeah. This is where, this way. So they don't normally want to come to the church on time because of the nature of it. And I told them, your own presence not mean that you are coming sometime because of yourself. But, but if you are not coming, you are not going to encourage these people to be there. Uh, you are talking like, uh, uh, okay, I don't, want, I don't want to send anyone of us. We don't need prayer. But many times our presence does not mean because of us. It means because of other people. And then by by what you are doing, you don't know how many people you are leading to God. God surprised me. I'm, I'm very sorry. You know, like a life story, if you allow me, and I have time, six minutes. So, uh, you know, you know, so God surprised me on Sunday. A pastor, in terms of you that are watching my Facebook, you will see it today. A pastor just woke up. Just woke up. And, and then he said, he, he told his wife, that I want to go and see Pastor Matthew. You know, this is the person that, although we talk in the confession, we talk online sometimes, but we are not so close to the extent that uh, we say, okay, let me go and take check, check, check Pastor Matthew. And just say, say, I told my wife yesterday night that I just want to go and see Pastor Matthew. And then he drive, you know, United States journey, five hours on the road, just for coming to my church, five hours. First hour come, first hour go. I mean, to go back. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? And then he abandoned his own church service for that day. So that's how God works. If you see, I'm, I'm very sorry. You know, I like appreciation. He spent more than $400. What is $400? For his, for, just for or, or cash. Within my church and within the member, he spent more than four hundred dollars. That's excluding the transportation for driving five, five hours. You know that's the love of God. That's love of God. So what does it cost you to take a phone? What does it cost you to join us in prayer? What does it? By the time you are praying, you are not praying for yourself only. You are praying. You are laboring for other people who are joining. And that's always been my my own joy. I won't deceive you. That's what, anytime we say we are going to have prayer, ask anybody. As time I'm sleeping, I doubt it if I ever miss any prayer. But because of nature of my job, sometimes you see them at the end of the program, they call my name, they call my name, I've gone. Why? Because I walk in the night, and immediately we are praying, I'm coming. And then if you see the way we are walking for church in Charlotte Free, my dear brother, you will, you will praise the name of the Lord. I am my, my children. So I'm encouraging you, please, whatever you can do, to increase the number. And then go and, Pastor Lee, I don't know if you have been taking note of it. Go and look at our number. They are increasing every day. 
Go and look at it. They are increasing every day. So let's do something to be bringing people to the Lord to know that we are care. Some people, they, they, you know, they drop prayer requests. No one among us, pastors, try to reply that prayer request. And some people have been discouraged. It's like nobody is, is watching us. This platform is just like a, don't do United. It's dead. We are just dead. Nobody is replying our prayer request. So Almighty God is going to help us in the name of Jesus Christ. We are not going to do it in vain. To me, I won't deceive you. Either we are two or three. You know how they tell us in the Asherela uh, divine intervention that I don't care. Because I know the prayer is doing wonderful in my own life. And I believe every one of us can be dedicated to it. We are going to be sharing testimony in Jesus' name. So let's pray for every one of us. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. This assignment God has given to you. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you will not take it as just an ordinary work in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth. Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. The Almighty Father, make me useful on this platform. They make me useful on this prayer line. I want you to open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Pastor Dapot said, I'm not hearing any force except only one force. I'm not hearing any any other person for two. Am I being cut off? Are you hearing me? Let's call upon the name of the Lord. The Almighty Father, help me, O oh Lord. Let me be significant. Let me be let me be useful. Let, let me make me relevant in this prayer line. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. That the Almighty Father, I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Make me relevant. In the Lord country that is a small thing. My little little things expand in the Lord in Jesus.